Yo, what's up guys, it is Zekro here, and in today's video, I'm going to be telling you the best ways to make over 100,000 Robux inside of Please Don't. So I hope these tactics can help you out and help you to get a ton of Robux. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into this. So the first way, in my opinion, is actually very important to get more Robux, is by having a good ratio. The reason why I might have over 500,000 Robux raised is because I've donated about half of the Robux I've made. And that's after tax. Wait, there's taxes in Robux? But let's say that you are this person down here with two donated and 725 raised. People aren't going to donate you. People are more likely to donate someone and give them Robux. But they have given Robux to other people and have given back to the community. So pretty much what I'm saying is at least you don't have to donate like half of what you've made. These after taxes, like you're barely, you're keeping like 10% of the Robux that you're actually making. Which I know a lot of people don't want to do that. And that, I mean, that's reasonable. Your success, your giving back, a lot of people like to donate to you. And that's all that matters. So on to the second tactic is to don't beg. Don't ask for Robux. Don't, don't, don't ask for friend requests. Don't ask for any of that. If you were to be someone with over a thousand Robux and you want to give someone a thousand Robux, are you going to go up to this person right here? that's asking me watch are you gonna go up and you're just like oh i want to give someone 1k are you gonna donate to a bacon who's asking you the dono no you want to no because they're asking for it no one wants to donate you no one wants to donate robux because you asked it isn't fun if you donate the robux and they're expecting oh let me oh uh, yeah give me this robux and then just walk away i'd rather donate someone who is nice and kind that's me. And that is what's called tactics. I would say the people that get donated the most use a certain tactic. One of the most useful tactics, if someone were to give you 10, you would act very, very appreciative as much as you can because, you know, people donate to make other people happy. And if you satisfy that and they, they're like, oh my goodness, this, this guy is like super happy from me donating them, that wants to make them donate more. So tactic is key, and I would say obviously the worst tactic is asking for it and you know, not, not acting like you're appreciative, stuff like that. I think that wraps it up for that. Now the third best way to get tons of donations is by having good stand ideas. Like if you go up to this guy right here, 200, this is raised out of 10K, why? Why would you donate to that? It's legit just saying, oh, I wanna raise 10K so I can buy whatever, you know? But for example, if I were to go over here, Recording one hour video YouTube channel AFK now unlike the other guy who's just donating to go to their goal if you donate to this guy here Right here. I'll donate three here. We go now I'm probably in their video and that gives you a reason to donate and it doesn't have to be you don't have to be a youtuber either I know a lot of you guys are like oh I'm not a youtuber I can't raise this much because I'm not a youtuber now being a youtuber is a great tactic which I will go into into on one of the further ones so stick around for that but you do not have to be a youtuber to make tons of robux I have friends that have raised over a million robux and they have no no connection with with social media you just have to have a reason so like how I have here bruh it says thankful for all the support so that means all donations are very appreciated by me and see curl on my tea shows my channel again more on that tactic later but all you need is a good stand idea and that's can what can really make you robux like the gold guy 233 why would you donate to that it's legit just saying oh i want to raise now the fourth best way to get donations is to have options i see this a ton and this is so 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 important the reason you want options of all types is so that everyone rich or poor could donate you this one isn't too bad but let's say if you were to remove the 10 not everyone is giving 20 to just random people they might want to just give five you know the stuff like that and some people i'm not joking i've seen this tons some people have like six robux to go into a game and they they can't they just want to you know because no one likes an uneven amount so they give it away but if the, your prices are too much, so they can't give it to you. And over time, that will add up. Now here, for this guy, twos, threes, look, fives, tens, this guy has all the options. So if I came here with six Robux, I would donate to this guy, not this guy. Mine is a little decent. I, I don't have a five, but that's pretty much what the four is. It's pretty much a five. But see, I you need more buttons. You can't, I've seen some with only one 100 button. Nobody, not only the rich can donate to you. Just have more options. Number five is to make your boots stand out. So if you go into a server and you see 
a ghost stand. Cool, cool Halloween stand, right? And then you see this. There's legit no reason to donate, and it's a plain stand. Which one is more appealing? The one with ghosts and Halloween and pumpkins or whatever over there? Or this plain wooden stand? Make your boots stand out. All you have to do is as soon as you get enough gift bucks, I think there's some that's like 50. All you need is a couple donos. You get gift bucks from people donating you, from donating back. But as soon as you have enough, I advise to go over here to the shop and spend your gift bucks on one of these appealing stands. You can also get stands by donating, like how I got the Dark Matter booth by donating over 100,000 Robux. This stands out way more than this you know the wooden stand the dark matter they're obviously gonna run over to whatever the stand that appeals more and not the less appealing one now the sixth tactic goes back to having a fan base like I was saying a lot of my donos come from you guys a lot of people get donos because they have fans people will donate youtubers twitch streamers to streamers everyone because they're live and they get attention what I mean is if this guy live has like 10 people watching right <laughs> And then there, you just have this ordinary stand over here. If your if friend YouTuber or whatever is live streaming and you can react to their reaction live and hear their voice, then I would assume you'd donate to the guy that you can hear his reaction live. He's a streamer, stuff like that. Then, the, then just the person who's just going to stand here and walk. And you do not even have to be big. A lot of you guys don't know this, but I actually got nuked at 400 subscribers. Or somewhere around... Somewhere around 400 subscribers. You don't need a giant fan base. I had like 10 people watching and I wasn't even live. He told me to go live for it. You do not need a giant fan base to make Robux. So if you have the equipment, just a microphone, you don't even need a mic. Some people don't even use mics. Or just have the equipment to live stream, download stream labs or whatever. Then I would advise going live. The final tactic to possibly make over 100,000 Robux is AFK. I know a ton of you guys actually see me AFK in games. I was actually recently gone for a whole week and I legit left my auto clicker on AFK in a server. And while I was gone, I think I made over like, a, I think I made like a couple thousand, which is awesome for not even being at your computer. A lot of times I do it while I go to school. I just put my auto clicker on and then leave my PC on all day. And it really works. I've probably made over 10,000 Robux over my times of going AFK. And yeah, it eventually adds up. Uh, and here has them and Preston goes off again. Anyways, those are the best tricks in my opinion for you to make possibly over 100,000 Robux or just a ton of Robux in general. Hopefully this was helpful and if it was, please drop a like. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.